everybody, Ezekiel Gutierrez for HeyYouGuys.co.uk. We're here at the world premiere on the red carpet bringing you some exclusive interviews for the film, What's Your Number? Check it out. Good, we're here uh, with Heather Burns, the always reliable, always funny Heather Burns. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about your character and how, how she fits in in the film. Well, I play Eileen. I'm one of uh, the bridesmaids uh, in the film. Anna's uh, character is the maid of honor at her little sister's wedding, and she's very depressed about that. And we're an old group of friends, and I'm sort of the intellectual one in the group, I guess you would describe it that way. That, that's how it was written in the show notes. You're the intellectual. Well, sort of, I just know all facts, you know, a lot of facts. <laughs> so you've been on some pretty memorable film sets. How does this one relate? Oh, it was great. It, I mean, it was, um, it, it was, I, we were all together as the girls, which was um, a little different because it felt like we were in a, you know, a separate world from obviously Anna going back and finding all her exes. Um, but it was really fun in that it was, a bunch of girls together, which you don't get that often in this business. So we had a blast. We played all the games. We, you know, we really bonded, and um, it was it was really lovely. Have you ever had the uh, opportunity to do maybe talk one of your friends down uh, from maybe after reading one of those magazine stories or taking a poll? Yes. I, I'm usually, I tend to be the psychiatrist of my friends. <laughs> You're getting ready to be on uh, Bored to Death on TV. How, how, do you prepare differently between film projects and TV projects? Well, Bored to Death is, is shot so much like a film that it, it almost feels like we're doing a film, so it's, it's very um, similar, so it doesn't feel that much different. And what's your role on the film, who you be, uh, in the TV show, who will you be playing? I play uh, Zach Galifianak that I play Zach Galifianakis' girlfriend on this show. Yes. All right, thank you so much for talking to us. I appreciate it. Thank you. So we're here with Kate Simpson. She plays one of the characters in What's Your Number? Tell us a little bit about your character and, and how she relates to the film. I'm one of the bridesmaids at the wedding, the big wedding. And um, uh, my character is a little bit the naive. You know, she got married very young. She's a little slow on the uptake. She's uh, That's where she plays her part. How, does she, how do you relate? How is your character very similar to yourself? Um, I think at times I can be a little, a little naive. Have you done the bridesmaid thing before? I have done the bridesmaid thing before. So you had some practice going into it. Oh, but it's so much easier when there's a whole studio behind you helping. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just you as the maid of honor. It's a little more dicey. You've all been saying that you had a lot of time hanging out with the girls. How was that? That was a fun set it to be on. I'm assuming. So fun. It was so much fun. It was, um, and we got to stay in Gloucester, Mass, which was a really good time, and and we had a lot of time to just kind of bond. Yeah. So tell us why why people should should see what's your number um, I think it's it's a truth-telling story it's not a rom-com where you're gonna find like a, a, a guy on a white horse coming up and rescuing the princess it's a it's a whole new take thank you so much for talking to us I appreciate it Gabrielle, Alan, and Jennifer Crittenden. You guys have been working together for so long on TV. Do you approach uh, a film project differently? We actually were working separately in TV and then just started writing features together. So we each had these separate careers and came together to do this. Um, it's, and so, yes, it's very yeah, different. So it's very different, yeah, because we're writing together. Yeah. Um, but um, it worked so well together, it felt like the transition was, was very smooth. I mean, I think we, we work really nicely together and we're on the same page about most things and yeah. we have the same sense of humor, thankfully. And it's so. a great transition because in TV you work with a lot of writers and there's a lot of collaboration. And then in features, I imagine when you don't have a partner, it's pretty solitary. And, and I don't think I would want to do that alone. And so it's so great yeah, to have a partner. absolutely. And what's the dynamic like, you know, to all the writers out there? What tips would you give them for, for writing with a partner? Well, you know, it's a very intense relationship. I mean, it's almost harder to find than a good mate. <laughs> we spend more time together. Yeah. More waking hours are spent yeah. with each other than with our husbands. You have to have the same sense so. of humor. You have to compromise. I mean, it's a real relationship. So I think, yeah. you know, to enter into it, you you, you want to, I mean, there's no way to sort of make sure it's right. Just like when you, you know, go on a date, you don't know, it. but you have to date for a little bit and then you see if it works. And we were lucky that it worked. So I think you just want to find somebody with the same sensibility and the same work ethic, and we were lucky enough to have found that in each other. We have a lot of great, talented cast members in this film that are so funny. Uh, after finishing writing, how much of your words are actually on screen, and how many are maybe ad-libbed? 
happen at all on, on, on the film? A little bit, but a lot of, I would say, I well, you know, Mark, the director, is really good about getting it as written and then yeah. doing a take where they're improvising and stuff. And while every actor in the movie could easily improvise their own movie, I mean, they're all so funny and so talented, they, they, they stuck pretty close to the script because it's pretty intricately plotted. And so veering away, it's hard. It's you got to keep on task a little bit. But... but um, but everybody added their own energy to it, and it was just, yeah. you know. How closely did you work with Karen, who wrote the, the book? Well, we read her book, and we were really inspired by it, and then we put it aside and wrote the script. And, you know, Karen uh, visited the set, and I, I hope she likes the movie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, really, we used her book as inspiration and took it from there. Thank you so much for talking to us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, Anna. Thank you so much for talking to us. Hi. How are you? Good. So you're, you work with your real-life husband, Chris yes. Pratt, is in the film. He plays Disgusting Donald. As an executive producer, was that a decision you made to, to name him Disgusting Donald in the film? Uh, no. I didn't come up with that name. That was our writers. And I wouldn't have probably called him Disgusting Donald. But, um, but that's, what he, that's the character that he plays, and he is hilarious. Does it here for us on the red carpet premiere of What's Your Number? Go check out heyyouguys.co.uk for more info.